an artist who went viral all the way back. Well, everybody remember when Lil Tay blew up. Everybody remember Lil Tay blew up. She was crazy. She was crazy, bro. Little ass girl flexing on niggas and shit. Bro, honestly, niggas really couldn't do shit. Because the kid, like, who's gonna hurt a kid? You know? She was calling niggas broken shit, like, bro. She was wildin', bro. And now she came back as a rapper. You feel me? She looks completely different. Completely different. It's crazy, bro. She come on some Billie Eilish shit. Back in 2018. Back in 2018, videos of Little Tay were spreading online, being seen by millions on social media. The video was showing then 10 or 11 year old Little Tay screaming at the camera about how rich she was and just how broke you were. In the videos, she was seen wearing expensive designer clothing while sitting in fancy luxury cars. Her video calling herself the youngest flexor of the century went so viral, she quickly started making appearances with other rappers. For three months, Little Tay kept this up, dropping countless flexing videos until one day, she just stopped. Just how Little Tay came in, she went out, as one day she was just gone. This left many people with questions and many others genuinely just worried on what happened to Little Tay. The whole situation turned out to be way more complicated than expected. Sometime after Little Tay went missing, it was discovered that she really didn't go missing at all. What actually happened was that her father, who was separated from Little Tay's mother, saw what her daughter was doing online and didn't approve of it. Even though he didn't live with Tay, he wanted his daughter to get off the internet and stop embarrassing. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. W dad for that, because that little girl was wildin'. Like, she was really wildin', bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, but then again, it's like that paved the whole way for her, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, bro, if I was a dad, I wouldn't really try to control, like, what my kids do for real. Like, their lives are their life. All I could really do is provide, you know? Like, I mean, I get it, you know, but shoot. <laughs> Look at little Tay. <laughs> baby Tay, baby Tay. What the fuck? Baby Tay, baby Tay. <laughs> Aww. Cursing herself online. On many occasions, Little Tay was taking things too far, which would have had an impact on her future, something she's not thinking about at 11 years old. She has been online doing various inappropriate things, even using the N word during one of her videos. So her father, through the courts, got temporary custody of his daughter and got her off the internet. Around this time, it was also discovered that Little Tay was really just a puppy. That's her mom? Bro, her mom looks weird, bro. Her mom looks fucking weird. She looks fucking fake. She looks like plastic. Bro, she looks like a fucking anime character, bro. I don't know. It's probably just a Chinese thing. I love Chinese people. I love Japanese people. I love all you guys, okay? I love all types of people. On tops of women. Puppet of her older brother and her mother. This entire Little Tay character was created by the older brother and brought to life with the mom's help. The mom worked as a high profile realtor who had access to expensive homes. This is where Little Tay filmed all her skits at. All of her skits were her brother's ideas as he coached her on what to say and also ran her social media accounts. The mother, even though she could have stopped it all, instead went along with it and got herself fired after it was discovered she was letting little Tay film herself inside her mother's client's home, using her client's clothes and even their vehicles for skits. I bro, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna do the same shit with my kid, bro. I'm gonna be like, yo, bro, just here, bro. Just flex this money. Here you go. The youngest, youngest, youngest flexor, my kid, yep. I mean, that's basically what Finesse Two Times is doing. Eh. After all of this hit the internet, it was over for Little Tay, and she was now living with her father as her flexing career was over. It appeared this would eventually change this year, when Little Tay turned 16, which allowed her to choose who to live with. She ended up going back to her mother, and they started planning her comeback. About a month- Oh, so Little Tay was living with her dad the whole time. So her dad literally tried to kill her career, bro? Nah, 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 nah. I mean, looking at it from another perspective, yeah, I get it. You know what I'm saying? But.
bro, because somehow her death was faked, and no one knows who really did it. If it was just a publicity stunt, probably her dad, like, you know, because you know who Lil Tay's going to be. Lil Tay's going to be fucking big if she keeps doing music, bro. She's going to be fucking big, okay? If ago now, the internet was shocked when it was reported that the self-proclaimed biggest flexor in the world, Little Tay, had reportedly passed away at the young age of 16. This confused many, as Little Tay had been missing from the internet for the past few years. She was taken off the internet by her father at the heights of her flexing career and went ghost. Out of nowhere, her name was being reintroduced to the world, claiming she had passed away. It was being rumored that she and her brother passed away in an accident, which left no one has ever seen her brother before, bro. I've never seen that nigga, bro. Nigga look just like her. Left people with so many questions. Again, in a long time, people were asking what happened to the youngest flexor, Little Tay. Well, it wasn't long until it was revealed that she was not dead at all and was alive and well. Little Tay would end up claiming that her account was hacked and that the hacker posted the death post on her account. As unbelievable as that sounds, Meta confirmed that her account was strangely hacked, which if you saw my last episode on Tay on the second channel, you would know I called this out as lies. Out of nowhere, Little Tay was now posting once again on her social media accounts, and she was now telling people that her father is an evil monster who was trying to keep her from her internet clout. This was the point in time where people all over the internet called out Little Tay as they realized this was all just a stunt to garner attention. But at this point in time, no one knew what the attention was for until now. A couple days back, the internet was once again shocked by Little Tay. But this time, not because of a death rumor, but because she dropped a new music video. Out of nowhere, Little Tay dropped a song in a music video called Sucker for Green. Now, we know exactly why she faked her death. This was all an elaborate plan to successfully accomplish a comeback. She most likely planned this for months in advance. This entire situation is truly disturbing, and it becomes even more disturbing when we realize oh Little my, Tay's mother- Oh my gosh, that's the famous three. Dude, they're probably like, they probably just don't fuck with their dad, bro. That's her brother. Right? Little Tay in the middle. That's her mom. Her, her her mom was always all with it. I mean, I feel it, bro. Like, look, what Lil Tay was doing was crazy, but, bro, low key, if she went with her dad, like, you know, if she followed in her dad's footsteps, then she probably would just, she probably would have just been an average bitch. She probably would just been an average sixteen year old going to school in the fucking matrix, you know. But look at the life that she chose, bro. And I'm honestly, I'm with it. <laughs> I'm with it. <laughs> look, okay. She's a, bro. She's a star, bro. She's a fucking star. All right. That's what it is. Openly approves of this all, and is even in the music video with Little Tay. Honestly, I feel like this should be illegal. Her mother and her older brother straight up planned this entire stunt just to get her daughter clout and to try to launch a music. It's not planning, bro. That's a good music career. They did this. Look, bro. It's not planning, okay? It's just good marketing. Like, these people are smart, bro. They're smart, okay? Nothing wrong with what they're doing. They're just getting us engaged. They're just getting us engaged. That's all it is. That's all it is. Literally. Also, Little Tay can make the money. They are literally pimping this 16-year-old girl. They truly managed to fool the internet, as she ended up getting 3 million views on the video in about two days. Just like her song is titled, she's a sucker for green. Little Tay would do anything for money and clout. What I also noticed is that the music video seems inappropriate to me, as we last remember Tay being an 11-year-old child. Now they got her dressed like this and surrounded by older men. It all just looks off to me. Play no damn worship. And I don't understand how a parent would be okay with any of this. Knowing what we know about the mom being fully invested in Little Tay's character since day one, I'm not at all surprised. This entire situation is ridiculous. 
They have been using that little girl since she was 11, cloud chasing all over the internet. Now they got her at 16, dressed provocatively, and trying to use the clout they got from faking her death for a music career. The sad thing about this all is that the father is trying to stop this from happening, but her Damn, look, I, I see what the father is talking about, bro. I see it, bro. It happened. Look, bro. Look, bro, it's happening. It's, it's happened to a lot of female artists, bro, okay? Now, the industry that she's going in is kind of dangerous, you know? But then again, it's like, bro, you don't really hold someone back from a crazy career. Like, nigga, she could be a millionaire. I mean, she probably already is a millionaire, but, you know? Her mother is making sure her daughter keeps up the internet games. They're doing their best to throw dirt on the father's name and make him look like the villain. Even though the father just wants the daughter off the internet so she can have a normal upbringing. What her daughter repays him with is allegations of him sleeping with his assistants and a bunch of other inappropriate things. Little Tay is sadly being controlled by her mother and her older brother. At this point, even though she is still fairly young, she is old enough to understand what she is doing is wrong. She's destroying her life and her father's life for clout that isn't even going to last more than a few months. Whoa. You, you saw his eye? Oh, his eye looked like that. It looks like they're two-sided. Like a reptilian. <laughs> that isn't even going to last more than a few months. The moment this song came out, it should have been a dead giveaway to everybody that she was the one that was truly behind this death stunt. 